when Harlan Crow's Bombardier Global 5000 thundered off the runway, it was heading towards Indonesia, and aboard it was U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas on an undisclosed and unreported trip made public by the essential and important journalistic work of ProPublica, an independent news organization committed to exposing the powerful interests to the American people in the name of the public interest. They do essential work in an era where journalism faces its own crisis of integrity and trust. What the ProPublica story features is Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas at age 74, the most senior of the court's justices. Clarence Thomas was nominated by George Herbert Walker Bush, and his hearings were contentious, to say the least. It was a very different America when Clarence Thomas was accused of sexual harassment by Professor Anita Hill. Ginny Thomas, Clarence Thomas's wife, is a well-known political extremist. She's an election denier and somebody who has celebrated the travesty of January 6th. Her flirtations with the extreme right are well known and unbecoming for anybody in close proximity to a Supreme Court justice, let alone a spouse. But it's Clarence Thomas's lack of ethics and integrity that's at issue here. One of the things that is most worrying about the decrepit state of America's democracy is the collapse of faith and trust in nearly every institution that matters. Because Supreme Court justices like Alito and Kavanaugh reneged on their public commitments to follow precedent and made a highly politicized decision, an extreme political decision, stripping a constitutionally granted right by the Supreme Court away from the American people for the first time in American history, they shattered the reputation of the Supreme Court in the eyes of the American people. They annihilated it, and it's collapsed 20 points in a year. The fundamental problem with America's Supreme Court right now is the longevity of a long human lifespan. At the beginning of the Republic, when Supreme Court justices were nominated and confirmed, they served for the duration of their natural lives. Back then, those lifespans weren't particularly long. Today, scientists talk about people being born at the early years of the 21st century may live to be 125 to 150 years old. That's a long time to serve on the Supreme Court. The fundamental issue facing the court right now are the integrity of three of the justices, Alito, Thomas, and Kavanaugh, around which there are very serious ethical questions which undermine the public's confidence in the integrity and thus the jurisprudence of the court. Laura Ingram, who hosts the nine o'clock hour on Fox News, is among a trio of the network's most notorious liars. She joined Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson as people, even the most casual observer knows, is lying to them. She delivered a particularly unhinged defense of Clarence Thomas and the revelations that, well, to put it mildly, he enjoys the finer things in life. When that Bombardier Global 5000 thundered off the runway, it was taking Justice Thomas to one of the most remote and exotic locations in the world. It's a curious juxtaposition for the American everyman who's long talked about his affinity for his simple blue RV and how much he likes camping out in the Walmart parking lots. The image of Clarence Thomas being flitted about on the billionaire's jet to his private reserves in the Catskills or in Texas or to the Bohemian Grove in California don't fit the profile that Clarence Thomas has long sold to the American people. And no doubt, it will continue to even greater collapses 
in the trust and affection of the Supreme Court in the eyes of the American people, who have every reason to look at these justices and say that they're not capable of policing themselves, that there should be some ethical guidelines, that these people should, with the honor of being able to serve on the highest court for all the rest of their natural lives, some sense of probity and dignity that clearly Justice Thomas lacks. And so what we're seeing here with Justice Thomas and Donald Trump is the arrogance of power. The MAGA movement is a movement infused with that arrogance of power. And it's a movement that Justice Thomas and his wife have embraced wholeheartedly. Ginny Thomas has embraced it with her overt political conduct, her support for the insurrection and the January 6th insurrectionists. Justice Thomas has supported it with his transparent lack of character and integrity, taking what he can get as much as he can get whenever he can get it. But he tells us absurdly that he wants nothing from it while he sits there in pictures with a man like Leonard Leo, who is one of the most powerful political operatives and political extremists in the United States. Somebody who has been bequeathed a billion dollar endowment to influence the direction of the courts over the coming decades. Leonard Leo controls a budget to influence America's culture of tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars a year. And there he is alongside Justice Thomas, squired away to these vast preserves of privilege around which the American people, according to Justice Thomas, have absolutely wrote no right to know. The American people are supposed to take Justice Thomas's word for it. Trust me, he says. What's clear about Justice Thomas is that he cannot be trusted. He has a massive integrity problem. This conduct isn't just unprecedented, it's reprehensible. And any member of the Supreme Court should know better. Every justice of the Supreme Court, at least a few with any shred of integrity, should be appalled and they should understand that when the American people look at the court, what they mostly see is a lack of integrity and a lot of political extremism. It will take a long time to recover from that. What should be done? Should a member of the Supreme Court be able to be ferried about by an American billionaire on his jet to the wildest and most exotic places in the world aboard the largest yachts without the American taxpayer knowing, having any idea, no disclosure whatsoever, that's an absurdity. Justice Thomas is either a crook or Justice Thomas has the worst judgment of any judge in American history, save perhaps for the few that have managed to get themselves impeached or indicted. The conduct is not acceptable. The conduct undermines faith and trust in our public institutions. It's another example of a person at the top behaving in an utterly unacceptable way. And once again, not surprisingly, that person is very, very close to the top of the MAGA empire. No surprise there.